you can do it like this. I need two nuts and two bowls. That's what I was trying to say. There's no one right answer. So the children have um, come up with an idea, some sort of vision. What, do you guys know what this is? Sometimes, that they want to create and they set to work on it. Um, we're building a car. Let's hold it straight. You could to use your hands on it and go inside of it and ride on it. Kids look at it and they go, oh, I can do this. That automatically attracts them in. Oh, now we've used all the holes for the corners and we don't have any place to attach this thing that we want to attach. Oh, we'll have to take that apart, move it over a little bit, find another way. So they're challenging themselves. That would be a cool add-on. But how would we do that? And then the peels are going to go on the end. It's not a, a question of, I got it right or I didn't. It's a question of, what else could I try? All right, now we need the other one. Where's the other one? That'll hold. Oh, look, a ball. I'm not, oh, screw that in. Look. <laughs> well, first thing we go like a house. But then it ended up that we wanted to make it portable and yeah, you could and move it by walking. <laughs> Our mission is almost complete. They can make things for themselves in their environment that they can then play with. It's a very empowering tool. So in order to use this, you have to pull this back so you can pull it back down. So now, as I'm showing, I am lawn mowing the grass. What if we go like that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we tweak it. it. Tweak it. Wait. I did it! I did it!